I'm very happy to give a short presentation here on um, our open day. The open day is uh, developed that we can show you a bit from our structure, who we are, and to prepare uh, you for the next coming round of applications because we are hiring again people starting at the 21st of October. So a warm welcome here from central Berlin. Here in the picture you can see all our scientists at the moment. This was taken in June during our scientific networking day. So once a year we come together as scientists and um, also associate people and we sit together, talk about all the projects and you can already see we have a, a culture of communication. So let's start about the today's schedule. So now at two o'clock I will give you some introducing words. Afterwards Jens Krause will give you a general introduction into the scientific and research background. Then we have some time for questions. And at 15 minutes past three, we will continue with Olaf Helwig. He will give you an introduction into the doctoral program if you're interested to apply as a PhD student. And afterwards, Klaus Obermeier will tell you about how this uh, admission process will work this year. Then again, time for questions and a small break. And at four o'clock, there will be three PhD students from our, uh, from our uh, cluster, and they will give you a practical introduction in how science work here, and if you like, you can ask them about their experiences with science of intelligence. And once again, afterwards, there's opportunity for discussion. But let's go into detail. Uh, I'm not sure if you're all aware about the funding source of the history of science of intelligence. Uh, in Germany, we have a Deutsche Forschungsgemeinschaft. So this is the German government who is paying the universities for their excellent science, and they started an initiative, and the initiative was to fund 73 clusters in Germany with specific topics, and here in Berlin we were very lucky to win one of these clusters, and these clusters was called, is called Science of Intelligence. So in 2018 this proposal was made. It was um, made between Humboldt University and Technical University, and the Technical University took the lead that's why we today are at the Technical University. But as a center of excellence, we are not only working at HU University or Technical University, we are also incorporating with our partners across Berlin because it is important to combine different disciplines and different scientific knowledge on site. So we were very lucky to get funded and we started in 2019. Unfortunately, then Corona came in, in the beginning uh, of our cluster, we really had problems with getting the stuff, getting the stuff to work, to build up all the equipment. So we can say now everything is built up, everything is fine, and we are ready for the second phase. So we were able to manage it even uh, in this corona time. As science sometimes has some limitations, uh, you see our cluster is limited until the end of 2025. That means with the new cohort, so every year we are starting a cohort, uh, the PhDs, they will finish. If we will have a new cohort starting next year that will stay longer than 2025, we can't promise at the moment, but we're in the process of negotiation. And on the other hand, we also are very hopeful that we get up a following funding so that we really can continue our work with these so far established structures. So on the left-hand side, you see uh, the speciality of our cluster, it is very interdisciplinary. So here at the TU we have lots of robots, uh, but we also include biology, ethics, artificial intelligence, and the benefit is that all these people from different disciplines are working here in this building, are working as interdisciplinary teams. So the students and the scientists are get into contact and they have short time projects. So with these short time projects starting every three years, we are always able to adjust to the scientific needs that come up and to the newest trends, and we can allocate our resources the best way. So as you can see, we also have philosophy, we have medicine included in, form, in types of bioscience, we have psychology, we have machine learning, so it's a huge amount of disciplines. And we are very happy that we have a high diversity, so we have scientists from all over the world, 
all genders are available and we are very careful to be sure about these equal opportunities and to foster this level of diversity. On the picture, uh, you see a colleague of us, he's working with a panda robot. This is a robot arm and this arm can be trained by just moving it with the hand. So this is an example of interaction between human being and robots and this is one part of our scientific approaches. I would like to give you some figures from our cluster. So as I said, we've been funded by DFG um, and the funding will end 2025. This is our official funding number. And so far we were able to build up six different labs. So we have a robotic lab, we have a motion capture lab, but we also have labs with animals, with mice and with fish. So it's a huge diversity of labs where scientists can come and develop their science. I mean, this is a specific thing of excellence clusters. We are not doing general research. We really got the people together with excellence and we give young scientists in cooperation with old scientists the opportunity to develop something, to start something new and to use international context. And the basic work is done in these six laboratories. At the moment, we are more than 100 researchers and we are having more than 40 research projects. I just checked this morning, we are running in through the direction of 60 research projects. And we were also able to establish five specific professorships across Berlin's universities. So if you're really interested to follow us, you can get in contact with us. Either you are just interested, then you can use our uh, multiple uh, um, communication ways. For example, we have Twitter, we have Facebook, we have also um, uh, Instagram, and the latest news we have, we have a, a YouTube channel, and today this presentation is streamed directly to YouTube. Thanks to you out there who are listening by, via YouTube. We've got more than 40 applications from people across the world that want to attend today via YouTube. Um, and you can use these channels to, get in, to stay informed. I also added this QR code. You will find it also in the description of the video. This will give you a link to our ongoing events. So we have a wide range of scientific talks, like PI lectures, like morning lectures, but also distinct speaker series. That means we are inviting uh, famous scientists from around the world that they're giving you some lectures and giving some talks for our interactive process. And uh, as I already said, the next opportunities to join will start at the 24th of October. So all of you that registered over the web page, either you are here on site or you're attending online, you will be informed via mail about the new upcoming position. And at the moment, it looks like we will have eight postdoc positions starting and one PhD position. But for sure, there might be more in the future because we are still in the process of thinking of developing new formats, how you could attend and it's really useful always to check if there are new jobs uh, available under this uh, address. So more will follow. Some specifics and uh, focus areas we have on I would like to share with you. I will start with the picture. Down there this is taken at Humboldt Forum. This is the former city castle here in Berlin. It has been rebuilt and it was built in the way that history and new science come together and there is an exhibition that's called Nach der Natur and we are also part of this Nach der Natur exhibition. The good thing is we are not only doing science, we are seeing ourselves as a part of the society of the discussion about robots and artificial intelligence so we really go into public with our outreach activities and this contribution to this exhibition is um, one part. But there are so many more things we are especially doing for our scientists. We build it up a coordination office that is really supporting the scientists with printing services, with conference services, and with a wide range of activities like managing the labs and um, other things. Very important to us, as I already mentioned, is the equal opportunities activities. So we are really aware about diversity in all dimensions and we really live diversity here and we are keen on that all the people are having the same opportunities and therefore we will have our own equal opportunity offices. Communication is very important, as already mentioned, once a year we meet in the scientific networking days, but parallel we have 
lots of interdisciplinary activities going on. We discuss the ethical questions and we have a wide range of outreach activities. I don't want to name them all, please take a look at our web page. But we're not only doing it here in Germany, we are doing it on a global scale. So uh, two years ago we already had this global scientific exchange program. It was together with colleagues from Africa and we will continue the, to continue the next year. And in the same way, um, we have also some support from the Berlin government to get more scientists to come to Berlin to give some lectures and to do some good education here. One last point I would like to mention is that we are very keen on the new developments in sharing scientific data. So I'm talking here about open access publications and also about open data initiatives. And we are preparing something that our scientists can very easily publish their results as open data and open source because this is the future of global collaboration. So finally, some small facts more about SIOI. So we also have a wide range of international partners. Here I just mentioned some of them, University in Stanford, Aarhus University, Oxford University and Cambridge. For example, the PI coming from Cambridge, she's just in the house and doing some research. So it is very internationally linked. We have this doctoral program where you will uh, hear a presentation later. Uh, we are in the stage of preparing a master's program and next year we will have a big conference